everyone and thanks for clicking on this video. I want to talk today about multiple dating and if it's okay because I seem to be a bit old-fashioned in dating. Even my friends tease me and say that I'm really traditional but I I don't know I'm, I'm always like really loyal and for me if I'm dating I'm dating that one person at a time. I don't have time to be seeing multiple men going on lots of dates because I'm either working or I'm doing YouTube or I'm seeing my family or I'm seeing friends. But I seem to be really old fashioned. It seems to be now that the dating advice I'm seeing is for women to not put their eggs in one basket, to date multiple men so they're not overly dependent on that one man. And while I, I can see the plus of this because when you are talking to one guy you do tend to invest all your feelings in that one guy. It can lead you down this kind of tunnel vision of oh th this is going to work, this is it. I don't know, maybe maybe I'm old fashioned but I, I just see it as wrong for me. If I'm dating someone and chatting to them then all my focus is on that one person. I think especially with Tinder, people can get caught up with the fact that there are so many options. And I think this is why people are multiple dating is because they've got it in their head that there's always something better coming along and they don't want to like put all their eggs in one basket. They're looking for this kind of unattainable person that doesn't exist, this, this Mr. Perfect. I think that people that are multiple dating, they're not giving their sole attention to one person and seeing how things develop. They're literally like going out with different people. How can you realistically attach, get attached to one person if you're spreading all your time between multiple people? How can you bond to one person? How can you develop feelings for one person? How can you attach to one person if all your energy is spread between multiple people? This is why, for the life of me, I do not understand polyamory and multiple partners and multiple partnerships because how can you equally love two people? For me, I know it's controversial, my opinion, but when people do this, it's because I believe they just literally don't want to settle and they just want to keep having lots of sex with lots of different people and then they call it under the guise of polyamory or multiple partnerships etc. If you're multiple dating when when does it step over into becoming someone is cheating on you? That is the question because how do you to put it crudely how do you know if you're sleeping with someone that they are not sleeping with somebody else? I mean that in itself literally makes me feel sick. The thought of if I was dating a guy and we're not exclusive yet and he's going off to another girl and she's I mean, that literally makes me feel sick. So that's why I always say if you become intimate with someone, think very carefully because unless you are in a relationship, that is the reality. This is the reality of the modern world. You could be sleeping with a guy and he could be sleeping with someone else. And you could argue that it's the same for women. A woman could be doing that. A woman could be like seeing a guy and then she could be seeing another guy. It's just, the whole thought of it just absolutely creeps me out. And it kind of makes you almost get to the point where you're almost su suppressing yourself because I don't want to be involved in that culture and I, I just don't want to be where people are just sleeping with lots of different people, they're stringing people along, they're calling it multiple dating when really it's just friends with benefits, isn't it? If you're sleeping with a guy and he's sleeping with other people, so you're just in a friends with benefits situation. And I think a girl would have to ask themselves if they're really happy with that. Because I don't think a lot of girls would if they really think about it. Because while feminism has opened us up to sexual freedom, it's also opened up a can of worms where I wouldn't necessarily say that females have benefited from it. You only have to go online and go on YouTube and there's so much content geared to females 
trying to get men into relationships. It's absolutely everywhere, which I, I don't do on my channel, but it's absolutely everywhere. Whilst the sexual revolution that happened has let women express themselves sexually, it's also created the problem where sex does not mean anything anymore. And this has left the culture of multiple dating, people not valuing sex, people jumping straight into sex. Sex has lost its value, basically. When you think about in the, in the 50s, the only way, realistically, a man would get sex is if he married a woman. Whereas nowadays, a man literally just has to go on Tinder, swipe right, and if he's attractive, he can just have sex with someone that night. I'm of a different generation. I'm of the generation that was born pre-social media. So I've kind of seen how social media has impacted this generation. And I kind of think of the generation, say, 10 years younger than me, um, the women engaging in this behaviour, engaging in this casual sex, how is this going to impact on them in 10 years time? I just think it's storing up so many problems for young women under the guise of feminism, under the guise of sexual freedom. If a girl's gonna get to 30 and she's like, shit, I've slept with, I've slept with 100 people, that's just gonna mess with some people's heads. This isn't just a female thing, this is a male and a female thing. There are gonna be some guys out there that hit 30 and they've slept with 100 women and then they can't bond because they've just been exposed to so many different women. Once you've been exposed to so many partners, so many different people, and how do you connect to one person when you've, you've been exposed to so many different people? That's, that's just what I worry about. Because I'm not jumping into the role of a sexually liberated woman, because I'm not putting out, it's difficult for me to find a guy that is on the same page as me, because I'm finding that the guys just want to just go straight to sex straight away. Because unless you meet someone that wants what you want, a lot of guys are not prepared anymore to go on four or five dates and get to know someone. A lot of men, not all men, but a lot of men just want the sex straight away. They literally just want to go on one day and then boom, sex. And because I'm not like that, because I'm more traditional in mindset, it, sometimes I think, shit, I'm never going to find anyone because I'm almost out of touch with modern culture. I almost feel like the world has moved on and I'm kind of stuck in this 1950s mindset of trying to find a husband wanting to settle down i almost feel like are there any guys left that realistically want what i want there must be out there but if all you're encountering is people that don't want to settle people that are happy with having multiple partners people that just want to see how it goes then it's really difficult for people of my generation that want to settle down and that want to find someone. This is ultimately why I struggle because I like to date one person, chat to one person and, and go on dates with them and not cloud my judgement of having Tom, Dick or Harry texting me at the same time. I focus on that one person. Whereas I know in the back of my mind, the guys that I'm dating I'm not taking on this approach. I'm not naive. I know that even if I am taking the approach of one person at a time, the reality is the guys that I'm seeing or texting are not doing the same. They're texting multiple women, getting Snapchats of women. And yeah, this is why it's difficult because I seem to be of a different era. And I always have been, to be honest. I always kind of have been the traditional woman that wants to get married, that wants to have children. Seems that not everyone wants to do this anymore. So is multiple dating okay? I think it, it works for some people, but I, it's not really for me, but it seems to work for a lot of other people. As I say, I'm of a different era and people like me don't seem to exist anymore. But yeah, if you do agree with me, just write down in the comment, especially if you're a girl as well, because I don't tend to see a lot of girls that think how I do 
and are as traditional as me. Thanks for watching as ever. I hope you like the video and take care and see you soon.